Two times in as many weeks, hackers targeted Northeast Ohio. First, they took down some computers at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. And then St. Ambrose Church in Brunswick was duped out of nearly $2 million. The FBI now involved in both cases. And tonight, new details are emerging about the church scam. News 5's Tracy Carlos in the newsroom with the latest. Robin Danita, tonight we know that St. Ambrose was the victim of a business email compromise scheme, a scam that the FBI says has been on the rise for the past four years. The business email compromise scam is sophisticated, common. We've seen instances where it's $8,000. We've seen multi-million dollar transactions. And happens a lot right here in Northeast Ohio. Hundreds of instances of business email compromises that have been called in. Nationally, the numbers are staggering. The FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center has seen a whopping 270 percent increase since 2015, with losses totaling more than a billion dollars. Last year alone, the center got more than 20,000 complaints about this scam. It can target any entity, businesses, small businesses, large corporations, hospitals, doctors, um, and even religious organizations. FBI Assistant Special Agent in Charge Brian Smith says there are two scenarios hackers use to gain access to your computer. Spoofing email accounts with slight variations of legitimate emails. The other, spear phishing. Fake emails believed to be from a trusted sender which prompts victims to share personal details like account numbers. Then malware is planted in computer networks, giving scammers complete access to critical financial information. Smith says the thieves do their homework. They are looking at the information that we're putting out. And so if we're putting out the fact that a bid on a contract was just awarded, that is information that they will find on the internet and attempt to take advantage of. But that's not all. It's information that you are putting on social media. Be mindful and careful about what you're doing and being mindful and careful about what you're posting about yourself, about your interests, um, because that can be used to take advantage of you. And just because you know, you're know you a, a fan of a sports team, you may not want to click on that JPEG that some sent with the new uniform because it's being targeted for you specifically. So what should you do to protect yourself? Update antivirus software. Be careful what you download. If you are hacked, call the bank and then the FBI. They know within minutes what has affected your computer. In the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News 5.